Hi guys, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, I want to share with you this modified um, gatefold card that features our beautiful Easter set, Easter message. Um, I'm actually going to be showcasing a few cards for you in the coming days and along with videos using this stamp set. This is absolutely beautiful. So, let's take a look at the supplies and we'll put this card together. So, paper product wise, we have a half sheet of Whisper White. This is eight and a half by five and a half. We have a piece of designer series paper that is four inches by five and a quarter. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have a piece of our fancy foils acetate that is four inches by five and a quarter. We have a piece of gray that has been embossed in white with the cross and the linens. And just to verify this for just a second, this is two and three quarters by four and a half. So two and three quarters by four and a half. And then that would make it um, four and three quarters by three inches. And then this is our basic gray on the Whisper White. And then I have a piece of our Rich Razzleberry that is one and a half inches wide by four and a quarter inches. Um, so one and a half, four and a quarter. So let's go ahead and at least start with some of the basic of the cards. And I apologize for coughing. I'm still recovering from the flu. And um, so I have just a little bit of the sniffles. Of course, I have this amazing voice and um, a little bit of this cough. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold. Always start your um, bone folder from the middle and then work up and down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our trimmer. And... I like to start first from no, the non-scored side, so over here. And what I want to do is at two and three quarters, I want to cut that card to where that score line is that I made, that fold that I made. Okay, so I've got that. Then I'm going to turn it, and on the fold line, I'm going to go ahead and cut. By having this piece here, I know where to stop, so that works great for me. Those are just my personal little shortcuts. I'm not one to do a ton of measuring, so if I can make it easy, that works great. And oh, let's push a little bit harder. It's a little tentative there. Let's put this back over here. There we go. Now it should. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm not leaning. I don't want to lean my head in and have you guys see all the grays on the top of my head. I was trying not to lean in and over it. <coughs> Sorry about that. So this is what's called a gatefold. It swings like a, a gate in the garden. So let's start to put all of our layers together. We're going to start first with this beautiful piece from um, our Blooms Designer Series paper. I love that it looks like hanging wisteria, something hanging in the garden. So we're going to put that down just like that. And... And then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to adhere anything just yet. I'm just laying this paper in so that it's there. I'm not, like I said, layering it totally down yet. And just along the bottom edge of this, I'm going to add some adhesive. You want to be careful because see how it expands past the top. I don't want adhesive up there. I just want an adhesive here where it's going to be on the paper. Now what I can do is, again, I've got this piece positioned. It's not glued down at all yet, but it gives me an idea of where I want to put this piece. So I'm just kind of holding everything in place. Again, no adhesive at the top. I don't need it to stick to that piece, okay? <clears throat> Only on this lower two-thirds of it did I add adhesive. Now, careful not to move it too much. I know now where I can put this down at. I'm just going to pull up one side of it, add some adhesive, and I'm going to just add some adhesive this way now as well, too. <coughs> I wanted that little bit of white to pop from behind. Now the last thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of an adhesive right along where the rich raspberry meets the white. I want to make sure that this is showing silver side out. 
position that. And that little bit of adhesive really will hold. And because of the way that it's right on that center seam, you don't see a whole lot of adhesive through your gatefold. And you've got that pretty little silver, just adding that little extra punch. Now one last thing that we want to do is we want to use Stampin' Up's watercolor pencils and blender pens. And I'm going to take the Rich Razzleberry, and I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit to the wood, just to draw the colors in. Kind of some non-traditional, normally of course when we think of wood, we think of the browns and everything. But I want it to be a little non-traditional. And I can go ahead and just kind of... You don't even need the blender pens actually, you could just kind of keep them like they are. And then the last thing that you would do is take a tissue paper and rub it, and any place where it's on top of the white, it would lift it off like a resist. And then working with our white, I just wanted to come in and just color the linens that are hanging. Just to give it a pretty look. I love the white pencil when I think it gets overlooked. Coloring is so relaxing. And in this case, I'm not even going to use the blender pens. I'm just going to let it be like it is. If I wanted to, I could come in and add a little bit more emphasis around the lines that are naturally created for you. So, there you go. Nice and simple, beautiful Easter card that is a mod what I call a modified gatefold because of the extra elements that I added at the top of the card. Normally a gatefold is left open. So, real pretty card. You can come visit me at Remark... <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry, guys. You can come visit me at RemarkablyCreated.com. I will have all of the dimensions for you. I'll have the ordering information if you're interested. And if you also are interested in receiving free tutorials, make sure that you visit me at RemarkablyCreated.com. Members of my mailing list receive at least 40 tutorials a month in my newsletter. So click the little button that's up there in the corner, and it will take you right to my blog, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by.